Today marks the start of World Water Week. Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. And while you may think humans and animals consume most of the world's H2O, the global heavy industry actually uses up to half of it. Now the race is on to find more efficient ways to recycle water in the face of increasing drought. Diana Olick has the details in her ongoing series on climate startups. Hi, Di. Hey, Ty. Yes, yeah, some of the world's most essential industries like pharmaceuticals, food and beverage, textiles, minings, renewables, and of course power all use huge amounts of water. That's why a slew of new companies are finding new ways to reclaim and recycle water as inexpensively as possible. The water treatment industry is expected to reach a half a trillion dollars by the end of this decade. Much of it now involves harsh chemicals and uses a lot of energy. But companies like Xylem, Veolia, and a Boston-based startup called Gradient are trying to reduce both costs and energy and eliminate the chemicals. We take highly contaminated wastewater, which contains solvents, which contains dissolved salt, which contains organics, and we eliminate the entire liquid waste. Gradient's technology mimics how nature creates rain. Wastewater is heated and pumped into a humidifier where it mixes with ambient air. As the two interact, they're heated into vapor, leaving the contaminants behind. The vapor is then transferred to a dehumidifier, Gradient's proprietary technology, where it mixes with cool, clean water, and when the two mix, the air cools and drops fresh water like a cloud dropping rain. The process, according to Gradient, cuts traditional costs in half. Other technologies can recover maybe 50 to 60 percent of water, but we can recover 99 percent of water. Gradient, the world's first water unicorn, works with companies like Coca-Cola, BMW, Pfizer, and Adnoc, and claims to save 1.7 billion gallons of water every day. That's the amount consumed by about 48 million people. It closed over $500 million in new orders in just the first half of this year, and its growth trajectory is very attractive to investors. Scaling these technologies is difficult. It's easy to find a product, but it's, it's much more difficult to find a full end-to-end -end solution for customers, and that's what Gradient has done. It in addition to general innovation, Gradient is backed by Warburg Pincus, M&G Investments, Formation 8, Clear Vision Ventures, and GRC. Total VC funding so far, $228 million. And part of why this industry is growing so fast, as the climate heats, there's more water where there wasn't before, and there's less water where there used to be more. So accessing water is becoming increasingly challenging for industries. That forces them to become more innovative in how they clean and reuse water. Kelly?